Hello, everyone. Time for another gold and silver analysis. I'm JR. Thanks for joining me. Today's the 31st of July 2017, and we'll try to do a quick turbo analysis here on both gold and silver as well as the um, the Dow Jones and the and the the U.S. dollar. Maybe I won't do the Dow Jones. Uh, I do want to throw in some some gold against other currencies as well. So we'll try to make this fast. Daily time frame here looking very robust, looking very very bullish. Um, for now, the market should continue to respect this trend line here. I'm expecting a test here to at least this level, uh, just roughly around this level. This is what I'm targeting. Um, we're looking to add to our longs anytime we can, but the market is really following a very nice trend line here. Um, I would I would hope that a little bit of a dip here would find some buyers and get, again continue its high and its its um, sequence of higher highs and higher lows. That's on the gold chart, but again you can clearly see that both the daily and the four hour time frames look very nice and bullish. And again we are targeting this area here close to the thirteen hundred dollar range. You can also say that this is building a, a very nice head and shoulders. Um, where you have the head and then you have the two shoulders. Anytime you see that head and shoulders and you have that break, you usually see a big move to the upside here. So um, if I were to calculate this head and shoulders, usually the head and shoulders don't, the shoulder, the head are not is not that big, much bigger than the shoulders. Um, but if that's the case, if that's what we're going to see, then we can see this market rally, um, you know, all the way up to 13.10. Um, if that's if if this is indeed a uh, an inverse head and shoulders, we'll see what happens. Um, but currently, for now, I'm looking to target the thirteen hundred dollar range. This is your silver weekly chart. Um, for now, this is your trend. Again, silver seems to uh, be looking for some buyers. We had a move down to the bottom here during this flash crash, <clears throat> or um, quote unquote flash crash. Uh, the market fell all the way down to 1427. That's where I saw some. Um, and since then, we've been moving up. Uh, right now, testing a little bit of a level of resistance, roughly around over here. Um, so technically, silver could find some sellers over here. But it looks like um, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. The dollar is really taking a beating. I'll show you guys a chart of the U.S. dollar here in a bit. Uh, but I wouldn't short this trade, but this would be technically a good short because, again, this is the level. You have a nice trend line here. It's kind of broken at this point. But, again, this is a very solid short here. I would short it, but again, the dollar's so weak that we don't really want to buy dollars right now. The dollar's looking very, very, very um, weak. Um, so for now, we'll keep an eye on this. I think if it surpasses this level here, the 1387, I mean the 1687, I think if it goes above 17, I think there's a good chance that this market might retest these highs here. Let's look at the daily chart here for silver. Silver. On the daily chart, looking again, only one level of uh, resistance here that we broke 1619, uh, broke that level, and now we're waiting for that second level again. Unlike gold, technically silver is not in a bull market here on the long term time on the daily time frames. Um, again, it's not going to be bullish until we surpass this level, until we see a, a nice close above this level. I would like to see at least 17, a close above that level tomorrow. Uh, and then I think at that point, what we can do is we can wait for a little bit of a pullback. Um, so we'd I'd like to see this. This is the level that we need to surpass. We go above that level, close above that level, come back down, and then have the market continue to go higher. That's what I'd like to see. Only time will tell at this point, right? This is the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar really taking a beating everywhere. I mean, I showed you guys my last dollar trade here. So this is the last U.S. dollar trade that I did. Uh, great risk reward. This is a, a great trade here. We sold the U.S. dollar right here and uh, look at to take it down. And I mean, since then, it's really just been creating you know just a really nice sequence this is where we started right here we can see this right over here this is where we started and again like i said what you want to do is you want to continue to bring down those stop losses as the market continues to create low 
right now the stock stops would be set roughly around right here around uh, 11 9 30 so again we just let the market roll let the market continue to give us uh, um, uh, percentages here as far as the the um, the other chart here the standard US dollar chart what you see here is a very ugly formation. I think I've pointed this out for you guys many times. This is a broadening formation. It's not at all a bullish formation. It's actually a very bearish formation. And you can see here that the dollar is really, this is the low, you have a high, you have a lower low, and you have a higher high. This was a, a slight higher high than this one. So I'm not necessarily counting it, but again, you had this low, a lower low, a lower low. You had a higher high previous than these two here. And now it looks like we're looking to create a lower low below these levels here. So I, I wouldn't necessarily sell my gold or silver until we see at least a test of this level. Very common for these broadening formations to do this. Either this and continue to go down or this where... Um, again, this is your trade and you see something like this comes back up and then from there it falls. Very common for these broadening formations to come about in that, in that way. Only time can tell at this point, but again, you don't really want to sell gold or silver right now. Um, you definitely don't want to do that. Uh, the, the, the U S dollar does look as, like it's in a lot of trouble. Now, before I leave here, I'm going to go over some of the uh, some of the opportunities that we have here. This is actually the gold against the Australian dollar. Normally, I'm looking at charts with gold against the uh, the U.S. dollar. But this specific particular chart is the gold against the Aussie against the Australian dollar. So um, my trading idea was to buy gold against that currency, against the Aussie with a stop loss at 50, around 49. Um, and again, you, uh, at around 1570 was the entry. Since then, we've moved up really nicely all the way up to 94. Uh, and now the market has moved down. Um, again, on this position, again, this position is up really nicely. And we want to see if the market continues to go higher and create new highs. This is the recent trade. I'm adding to that long position because those positions are already profitable. So at this point, I'm not necessarily risking anything. So I'm trying to compound and I'm looking to add to my position roughly over here and put a stop loss roughly around 1564 on this trade here um, and seeing if we can take this thing really, really high. I have a feeling this could go much higher than this. I just put it up there because that's the two or three to one. But I, I, I really feel that this market has um, enough space, enough support down here to continue to go up higher. But again, it's all about risk reward. Now that the other positions are profitable, we're not no, we're no longer risking um, what we were before. So it makes it a, a very, very solid trade with lots and lots of profit potential um we'll see what happens okay and um yeah for now that's what we have uh i hope you enjoy the video see you guys next time Bye bye